subjects to watch. This is at me. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the whole illegal selling a land. You see, anytime I hear about any new scam about the place, or any scam at all, the default answer is, why are them fooling? That can't be me. Well, today, I can tell you now, about some of these scams, including the whole Bernard large scams, because clearly, people don't understand how it works. Up until yesterday, most people don't even know who was running this scam. Right? But you know it, Garrity. Everybody is so bright and so right. But in case you're wondering how oh, them type of scam they work and why somebody will fall for it, we're not going to hear about it in this video. I'm also going to talk about the more mainstream type of land scam. This one is not some gang right, from Spanish Town that tries to sell people nothing. This one is when the person who has scam you have a big title, big reputation. Before we go any further, I want to send a Patreon video shout out to none other than Hope Dan Lewis. Now, Hope Dan message me and tell me, say, right, he may end up watch every single video on the channel. That's over a thousand videos. So, Hope Dan, enjoy yourself. Hope you have a great day. Right. Anybody approach you selling the land, right, think long and hard about it. Matter of fact, get one lawyer, if you check one lawyer, and then get one next lawyer, we will see the first two lawyers then. Because the place spooky. Hope can make up yourself. More live scene. Make a move into the video. You see, going to the old Bernard Lodge team, I'm telling you, say, Clansman, Richie, and them are orchestrated, they selling off the land. See all kind of comments. Right? People even message me. They, all, all them get a one piece of paper, and this, yeah man, that fit happened to them because them too full. Them never. The people them just see one random. Gang bang, I walk up to them, hey, me have land and sell. Alright, see some money here. Alright, thanks for the money, see some paper here. Yes, that's all there is to it. Have you hear that and you don't even think to yourself, hold on. There must be something deeper than this. Them people, they must hear and see something else. We make them so confident, right, for not just a buy land, right, but then I go build upon the land. Surely them can't just be acting on a piece of paper, like that never cross your mind. So Richie and clans just a sell land and the people them just take money and say see there, take the money right thank you for a piece of paper I am now a landowner that's all there is to it but of course if you think about it that just can't be the case these quote unquote land sale don't just end with no receipt for enough people it end with a title yes no that didn't happen in Bernard Lodge, that never happened in Clifton. But enough people then end up get title. Enough people are wait for them title for reach. A links run Ariman. If you never know how much people inside of some of these agencies, right, some of these bodies, will sell people information right, to criminals, will sell this and sell that. You need a drop down. You don't even know 25% much less the half of what really are going at some of them places. After them sell the land and then give people the receipt. Down the road, the people them end up get a title. Yes, this is nothing new. The only reason why this case blew up so big are because them try to sell right, the sugar company land. Them try to sell government land. They've been running this operation and a sell private land for years now. I've been talking to all kind of people. Years them are run this. This time them go try to sell government land and it end up backfire. That's why it made the news. There are a lot of houses in St. Catherine, right up at Jamaica period, right, where I saw people buy the land for them build the house man. Now for the mansion them when you see. We could stick to St. Catherine. As I said that all over, we could stick to St. Catherine and certain places where clansmen quote and quote run. Now for the mansion them when you see, I saw people get the land them. People like Richie sell it to them, quote and quote links. People start build upon it. And while some of them are built, guess what fall out of the sky like magic? Yes, a title. 
Some people don't even get for them title yet. But a whole heap of us sell like this. This is not brand new. Bernard Lodge Clifton was not the first example of this. This is why the people in the Bernard Lodge had so much confidence in what they might do. Because they had real life testimonials from other people where she say the quote unquote link was legit. Yo, you know, no, say so and so, so and so. Yeah, man. But that doesn't sound like it real. Of course, it real. Then you know, say Miss Johnson and Mr. Simpson. I saw them get for them one. Really? Man, gonna link Mr. Simpson. Me hear you say, we, oh, so a real thing then. Then, oh, you get, what you say, like one year after you get one title. Oh, all right, oh, a real thing then. That's how them scam the work. Because other people do it and get away with it. The end result, them get one piece of land, and next thing you know, them quote unquote own the land. Now, enough of them people, eh, I don't even know if the title them have legit. But enough of them have title. This is what we don't realize. Enough of the land them in the Iron Man, the owners them dead left it, or they gone a foreign. And they might in you know, one wheel somewhere. So what happened is after a while the mice say the bad now use a land there. Right. So criminals come in, use them links in the various bodies, find out this and that, then them sell the land to somebody, and then out of nowhere, people own land where them not actually own. Because it means that him do it, him do it and she do it, and them have us and the bad now trouble them, and we see the government running upon them. It's actually very common. This time then go build on a piece of land that is state owned and that is why it became a big hullabaloo. This happened with people private land all the time. This time rich young clans then pushed the boundaries. Them gone as a government land. In a bad man place it is not uncommon to hear say the done or somebody have some kind of link where you can get this right and for a much cheaper price. Now for the people that are listening to this right now, you have driving license, you have firearm permit because of a link. Man say, yo, you know, say, this a go on. Really? Yeah, man, just give him this and you get that. The people that say, I'm going to buy land and I buy this. We're getting all kind of reassurance from people who legit. I'm telling you, say, Richie can't pull this off by himself. Would I want to be clansman or plansman? Do you think them people can go up on TV, can go up on social media, go call nobody name? You think them can say, oh, I reach the same of the land, and then Mr. Simpson who work in the office, they tell me semi good to go, and then Miss Smith who work on so, right? She do some some people and tell me say in a six month time start home, and then Mr. That's not how it work. Them can't call the name. You think Richie and Clans are gonna hear that Simon on TV I call them name, a, 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 a detail link. Right, and then they'll say, Well, you know, to be fair, right, they are losing those. No, they got to chop off this illegal land sale thing. I go on all over Jamaica, right, and people that take official people's word for it, not just Richie word, not just clansman word, but they might get reassurance on people with them trust, right, them take people's word for it. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Me not take nobody's word for it. Are you sure? When you go down to your doctor, and the doctor tell us, Take them pillar two times a day. You take them and throw them in your mouth and drink water and swallow them. You don't know what's in the pill. You don't go in the lab, go break down the pill for the night. You take your doctor's word for it because you assume your doctor is acting in good faith. So in time when I sell the land, and then you say, Oh, Mr. Johnson will work in the office there. Oh, he will work in the office there. Oh, so and then you know 50 other people who get the land. Right? Of course, people are now susceptible falling for things like this now of course people can argue well but yeah but i'm not trying to beat the system i mean owning a piece of land is something no jamaicans can't even dream of so some people when an opportunity presents itself and it may say it works for others even though a backdoor link they might go jump on it right. i don't know which world you live in huh? one thing everybody is going to be so righteous that's an opportunity to present itself to get some land, like 50 other people you know about, and I take it. Some people are going to take it. 
especially people who make up their minds so they're never ever going to get no kind of land if they go through legitimate means. But going back to the political links, right, and type of people them were involved in this. When you listen to the Prime Minister speak, you mentioned about people with political connections. Right. When I understand say, when residents in a community see the Dan, right, I know say he have certain links. Listen closely. This is our mission wide. Madam Speaker, right across Jamaica, we have been receiving reports of land scams. Mount Edgecombe in St. Anne, Member of Parliament has been bringing it to my attention and the former Minister of Housing's attention about it. I have you right there in Eastbury Grove and Tetford in St. Catherine. Retirement and Providence in St. James. These are areas in which we have reports on and we have tasked MOCA and the JCF to investigate these scams and bring to book all those persons. Some of them are known and politically connected, regardless of their political connection on both sides. Why do you think CTAC and in particular MOCA is doing big investigations on this? I think it's just if you see what Richie Lagwan would, if you see when time Richie and Clans just sell somebody one, one piece of land, I think Mocha needs to do big investigations on that. It's because they want to see how wide this thing go. Who are signing off on this? Who are get people this? How tight to reach up here, sir? How people get promise title? How people get carry on a car and go show things? I'm not talking about no capture land. I'm not talking about no people just see one piece of land and just we start building on it just so I talk about seal of land because that's the thing you know people are making it sound like say Bernard Lodge is some capture land thing like say people just see one piece of land and just move in on it it was a seal how people get title to other people's land again links one piece of land have two title with two different owners and the original owner no know say the house sell the new owner. Man that foreign and come back home see people pan the land with title. How do you think this is happening? Criminals are selling property to people and man get title. Next argument me here. Well, they should have used a lawyer. If you use a lawyer then this wouldn't happen. Is that so? Do you mean like Movado? Didn't Mavado use a lawyer to protect himself from getting scammed and end up getting scammed by the lawyer? Or is it that you think lawyers are above criminal acts? Is it that you think lawyers can thief and lawyers can scam? Do you think young males from Moby and St. Catherine and them places, eh? Westmoreland, do you think they have a monopoly on scamming? You think of them alone scam? No found a favorite suit and tie, favorite well spoken, big title, lawyers, etc., a scammer too. Movado was scammed by a lawyer. Thirty million dollars. Him send the money, he was told that the original owner, that jailer foreign, said must sell the property. Money transfer, he thought he got an amazing deal, right, for a place. I think it was in Grosvenor Terrace or something like so. Right. Uptown. He thought he got an amazing deal because who I presented to him? Him lawyer. Not Richie from Clansman. Not Tesha, but him lawyer. Jennifer Mesada, big lawyer. Experienced lawyer. Right. Big reputation. Turns out, not only my father gets scammed, but other people get scammed. To the point where she's been disbarred. So when they say, you should have gone through a lawyer in an Iron Man, even the lawyer might scam you. So we are going to know. Hire one lawyer to watch a lawyer. Then you hire a third lawyer to watch the first two lawyers. Then what? You hire a fourth to watch the first three. When does it end? Patrick Bailey and all these big time lawyers disbarred. We now talk about how we come up fly by night just past the bar lawyers. We talk about senior lawyers involved in all kind of foolishness. So if this can happen 
to my father, who did his due diligence, went through the correct means, get one lawyer and still get scammed, what would I talk about? What did you say? The should have got one lawyer. Not even that might protect you in the Iron Man. You see, the real conversation is the level of corruption in high places in Jamaica. Because at that make, people like Richie and other people who are selling land to people with them not own can operate. But instead of focusing upon the people them, in the various government bodies them, right, the government agencies them, right, where I, I sell this and I sell title and I move this and I my name and all kind of foolishness. And this is why corruption and scamming and things in Jamaica can't done. Because when these things happen, the spotlight is just on the people them who did I try benefit from the corruption. If there's an avenue, if there's a loophole, people are gonna try to take it. I don't know which woke righteous paradise on the living. I don't know which dreamland on the living, but may I tell you right now, anywhere in the world they go, if there is a loophole, human beings are gonna take it. If there is a link, people are gonna jump on it. This is why you root out the corruption in a FLA. Because if man is saying can spend money and get gone, they are gonna spend it. And if man is saying can give one a thing, right, and get land cheap. And the next thing you know, get one title, they might go spend it. If man knows it, they can just give man a thing and get driving license and don't even know how to drive, they might go do it. If I say, see people on TV at talk, don't mean nothing because the body not go tell you the full details of something that involves the monstrous clansman gang. Anyway, Patreon Squad, be open yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Patreon Squad, say so clean. Bless.